Hello. When I hit my mid thirties, I suddenly felt this strong pull towards being a full-time artist. Now it sounded wild to most, but that's exactly where I found myself. No plans, just a gut feeling saying, hey, it's time to be an artist. So here I am wondering if I missed the bus because, you know, society loves to tell you it's too late. But turns out it's never too late to embark on your creative journey. I'll be honest, I thought it was a bit crazy too, but let me tell you why it's not. Back in my 20s, I dabbled in different creative ventures, especially after realizing that working in corporate wasn't for me. I started a handmade jewelry business in my mid twenties, which did pretty well. I used photos of my art to make jewelry and people were loving them. I opened up my Etsy shop, was doing vending shows on the weekends, taking classes after work, and I even attended workshops at the library, but it felt like I was riding a bike with wobbly wheels. I had no clue about the business side and I wasn't making a profit from my sales. The overhead cost was getting too much for me because I was buying supplies and materials for both painting and making jewelry. I also then dabbled in making body butters, knitting, and making waist beads. I also became a certified Reiki healer and tried to incorporate that into my art as well. I was also dealing with a lot of anxiety and insecurities at that time. It was hard for me to build strong connections in the art and handmade craft world. And part of me was also dealing with feeling like I didn't belong. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have guidance or a solid support team. On top of that, I was trying to figure out who I was and where I fit in. At that time, I also had a different Instagram art page and had about 3K followers, which I grew within a year. But I ended up shutting down all of my social media accounts because it was getting overwhelming and started turning into distractions. It was hard for me to juggle both creating and posting on Instagram, although social media was a lot easier back then. Anyway, the biggest problem I had was that I started comparing myself to others and felt like I was never going to make it. It also didn't help that I'm multi-passionate and wanted to do everything all at once. I didn't know that marketing was important. I didn't know anything about branding or copywriting. On top of that, I felt like my art was too different. I had other creative passions, but painting was always my first love, yet I was always putting it on the back burner thinking that there's no way I can do this full time. I didn't know how to talk about my art, let alone talk about the inspiration behind my pieces. I started questioning if I truly belonged here. I was dealing with a lot of self-doubt and it was like a shadow that I couldn't shake off. So I took a break from social media for a good three years because I needed that time to figure myself out. When I decided to jump back on Instagram, I couldn't access my old art page anymore. So I had to start a whole new one. And I quickly realized it was a lot harder to grow an audience this time around. So here I am, 35 and feeling this inner calling to be an artist. No blueprint, just stepping into it because it felt right. I started developing an intimate relationship with God and I felt in my spirit to not only create, but to also start a YouTube channel. I was reluctant, 
but it was to the point where God was speaking through my students who were six, seven, and eight years old, telling me to start a YouTube channel and to paint. I didn't have a plan. I didn't know where to start or how to show up, but things started to make sense despite not having one. It's like God's been the GPS guiding me even when I couldn't see the road ahead. And I get it now. I had to completely surrender to the process. I ended up having my daughter that same year. For all the creative moms, it can feel like mission impossible to continue following your creative pursuit. But God placed in my heart that I needed to honor my creativity and operate from that space for my own well-being. I quickly learned that I'm more capable and creative than I thought. I had no idea how I was going to paint and start a YouTube channel with a baby, but here is God telling me to show up exactly how I am. I learned to trust that my passions are not only valid, but vital for my well-being and the well-being of those around me. So many artists started later on in life and became successful. Women like Agnes Martin, she started gaining recognition in her 40s. Grandma Moses, she started painting in her late 70s and became well known. I find that starting art later lets you dive into your feelings. It's like your emotions and experiences are the secret sauce that makes your art special. We're part of something bigger. Now, as I'm on this art journey, it feels more like a spiritual quest. There's so many things that I'm learning, unlearning and relearning. I believe in divine timing and starting in my late 30s feels like there's this purpose, a bigger plan in motion. Where in my 20s, I let insecurities and false illusions get in my way. But now that I'm in my late 30s and have a better sense of who I am, I am allowing God to use me as a vessel. Sometimes it feels like it's going to take a long time until my career can fully launch and blossom because I'm still developing my skills, discovering my style, and there's so much to learn about the business side of art. Also, social media adds an extra layer of things we have to navigate as artists so it can easily get overwhelming and discouraging especially if you're an introvert yet in this older phase i understand the importance of time building an art career demands a strong foundation plans systems genuine connections and making wise decisions. Age doesn't define your start. Letting God lead the way brings this ease, this calm, even when challenges come. It's all part of the journey, a plan to help you grow. Starting art later means you have a bag full of experiences, both good and bad, but your life experiences are now all intertwined within your craft which makes it even more special. You might need to balance your art practice with other work in order to support yourself financially, but there's more opportunities now to incorporate everything that you do into your craft and brand yourself. We just have to be creative and think outside the box. So if you ever think it's too late to start something new, especially in the art world, I encourage you to reconsider that because it's never too late to start following your dreams. One of the most takeaways from this journey is that you have to have faith and be willing to share your story. You also have to figure out what's getting in your way and implement practical skills to overcome mental blocks. Although I'm not exactly where I picture myself, I really wanted to share my journey with you. My hope is that it inspires you to follow what makes you happy. If you're new to my channel, kindly do me a favor 
hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. I'm close to reaching a thousand subscribers and your support means the world. Plus, I've got lots more to share, including tools and guides to help you on your journey. Drop a comment below because it tells the algorithm that you enjoy what I'm talking about. Doing so also helps the algorithm share my video with more people who might need a bit of inspiration and encouragement. Also, let me know what content you'd love to see in my videos. Is there a specific topic or something you'd like me to share or discuss? Your input means a lot and I want to create content that resonates with you. So make sure to drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're a self-taught artist like me and want to pick up some tips from my journey, or maybe just want to hear why I started making videos on YouTube, then check out my next video. Your engagement is super important to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.